Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Bon vendredi. Let me just begin by saying I'm pleased with the supporting actions taken by the Bank of Canada this morning. Monetary policy is very important, but as the Governor of the Bank has repeatedly said, the most important thing we can do to help people and the economy in this crisis is for the government to take strong fiscal action. So today, I want to speak directly to small businesses and entrepreneurs. I know that for many of you, the past few weeks have been heartbreaking. You've had to slow down your operations. In some cases, you've even had to close up shop for the foreseeable future. And because money isn't coming in, you can't afford to keep your employees on the payroll. These are really tough decisions. Tough because you don't want to let the people go who help you run your company in their time of need. Tough because some of you have built your business over the course of many years, if not decades. And now it seems like this climate of uncertainty could threaten everything you've worked for. I know many Canadians across the country are saddened to see their favorite neighborhood spots closed. These are the places that make our communities feel like home. Our government knows you're really feeling the impacts of this pandemic, especially with the end of the month coming up. So here's what we're going to do to take some of that pressure off. Last week, we had announced that we would cover 10% of wages, but it's becoming clear that we need to do more, much more. So we're bringing that percentage up to 75% for qualifying businesses. This means that people will continue to be paid even though their employer has had to slow down or stop its operations because of COVID-19. We're helping companies keep people on the payroll so that workers are supported and the economy is positioned to recover from this. That is our priority. We will have more to say on this very soon, but I can tell you that this subsidy for small and medium-sized businesses will be backdated to Sunday, March 15th. For people who've lost their job or are self-employed, the Canada Emergency Response Benefit will still be there to help you. We also know that for small storefront businesses, they're struggling with cash flow right now. It's hard to raise money and make money in this climate. So to help you bridge to better times, we are launching the Canada Emergency Business Account. With this new measure, banks will soon offer $40,000 loans, which will be guaranteed by the government to qualifying businesses. The loan will be interest-free for the first year, and if you meet certain conditions, $10,000 of it will be forgivable. Our government will also provide an additional $12.5 billion through Export Development Canada and the Business Development Bank to help small and medium-sized businesses with their operational cash flow requirements. This means that businesses will be able to apply for a guaranteed loan when they go to their financial institutions to get help as they weather the impacts of COVID-19. Lastly, we're announcing that we will defer GST and HST payments, as well as duties and taxes owed on imports, until June. This is the equivalent of giving $30 billion in interest-free loans to businesses. So if you're struggling to get by right now and you have a payment due at the end of the quarter, we're going to give you more time. It will also allow you to keep the money that you would have been sent to the government and use it instead for your immediate needs. With these new measures, our hope is that employers who are being pushed towards laying off people because of COVID-19 will think again. And for those of you who've already had to lay off workers, we hope you will consider rehiring them given this payroll support. Over the coming days, we will announce additional measures to help the most vulnerable, youth, marginalized people, people who live in poverty. We're going to have more news to share with you very soon. Ce matin, je veux parler aux entrepreneurs et aux propriétaires de petites et moyennes entreprises. Je sais qu'au cours des dernières semaines, vous avez été appelés à prendre des décisions très difficiles. Certains ne peuvent pas se permettre de payer leurs employés. D'autres ont dû mettre fin à leurs activités. 
La pandémie a déstabilisé l'économie mondiale et le climat d'incertitude dans lequel on se trouve en ce moment vous inquiète grandement. La semaine dernière, notre gouvernement a annoncé une série de mesures pour vous aider, mais vous nous avez dit que vous en avez besoin de plus. On vous a entendu. Donc, aujourd'hui, on annonce des mesures additionnelles pour vous aider. La semaine passée, on avait annoncé qu'on allait subventionner 10 des salaires, mais c'est clair qu'on doit aller plus loin. Donc, le pourcentage passera à 75 pour les petites et moyennes entreprises admissibles. Ça veut dire que les employés continueront d'être payés même si l'entreprise pour laquelle ils travaillent a dû ralentir ou arrêter ses activités à cause de la COVID-19. On aide les employeurs à garder leurs employés pour soutenir les travailleurs et favoriser la reprise de l'économie. C'est notre priorité. Nous aurons plus de détails là-dessus bientôt, très bientôt, mais pour l'instant, je peux vous dire que cette subvention sera rétroactive au 15 mars. Et pour ceux qui ont perdu leur emploi ou qui sont travailleurs autonomes, la nouvelle prestation canadienne d'urgence est toujours là pour vous aider. On sait aussi que les petites entreprises ont des problèmes de liquidité en ce moment. C'est difficile d'obtenir du financement et de faire de l'argent dans le climat actuel. Pour vous aider à traverser ces moments difficiles, on lance le compte d'urgence pour les entreprises. Grâce à cette mesure, les banques offriront bientôt des prêts de 40 000 qui seront garantis par le gouvernement aux entreprises admissibles. Le prêt sera sans intérêt pour la première année et si vous répondez à certaines conditions, 10 000 de cela sera, sera euh, euh, non remboursable. Notre gouvernement va également fournir 12,5 milliards de dollars additionnels à, Ex à Export Développement Canada et à la Banque de développement du Canada pour aider les petites et moyennes entreprises avec leurs besoins de liquidité. Donc, les entreprises pourront appliquer pour un prêt garanti lorsqu'elles se tournent vers une institution financière pour obtenir de l'aide pour atténuer les impacts de la COVID-19. Finalement, notre gouvernement annonce que les gens auront jusqu'au mois de juin pour effectuer leurs paiements de TPS et TVH pour rembourser les, et pour rembourser les taxes et les droits exigibles sur les importations. C'est l'équivalent d'accorder 30 milliards de dollars de prêts sans intérêt aux entreprises. Donc, si vous avez du mal à joindre les deux bouts à cause de la pandémie et que vous devez de l'argent à la fin du trimestre, on va vous donner plus de temps pour effectuer vos paiements. Ça va aussi vous permettre de garder plus d'argent pour payer vos dépenses quotidiennes. On espère que ces nouvelles mesures encourageront les employeurs qui pensent être forcés à congédier leurs employés à y repenser. Et si vous avez déjà fait des mises à pied, on espère que vous allez envisager de réengager vos employés grâce à cette subvention salariale. Au cours des prochains jours, on va annoncer d'autres mesures de soutien pour aider les gens les plus vulnérables, les jeunes, les personnes marginalisées, les gens qui vivent dans la pauvreté. On aura des nouvelles pour vous très bientôt. I know the past weeks have been really tough. You're worried about what COVID-19 means for your business and for your future. These are uncertain times, but my message to you today is we're going to be here for you. Small and medium-sized businesses are the backbone of our economy. You are collectively the largest employer in the country. You support millions of families. You serve our communities, and you make our towns and cities better places to live. Canadians are counting on you, and I am counting on you to come back strong from this no matter what comes next. You're going to get the support you need to help rebuild a more resilient and prosperous economy. So to businesses across the country, please keep your workers on the payroll or think of hiring them back. In the meantime, let's keep listening to our public health officials. Let's wash our hands, stay home as much as possible, and keep a safe distance from each other when we go for a walk or when we have to go to the grocery store. Together, I know we're going to get through this. Merci beaucoup tout le monde.